You're an employee at Twitch, and your higher-ups, or even just your boss, period, has asked you to solve the Twitch discoverability issue. Now, what is the Twitch discoverability issue, for those that don't know? Well, even on other platforms like YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that, that definitely have their own issues. We even made a video about YouTube a couple weeks ago, and even though they fixed a lot of things, like you can now cuss in a video and not be demonetized, uh, there are still, you know, obviously issues and vices with a lot of these platforms. However, universally, what a lot of these platforms like a YouTube or a TikTok and stuff seem to have right is that their discoverability is still really high no matter what your size is. Even my channel, right? I did No Straight Roads last year. Each video and episode got at least 10,000 views despite my size at the time being astronomically small. I was under 400 subscribers. I'm still considered pretty small now, but my point is because of YouTube's algorithm and its discoverability, it's still one of the few probably good things depending on who you ask about the platform. Same goes with TikTok. Any of you watching right now can make a random 15 second video and as long as you used for you or like for you page as hashtags, you might get at minimum 100 views on that video or that video might just actually straight up pop off for literally no reason at all. And that's the discoverability on TikTok and the algorithm for TikTok, for example. Twitch, meanwhile, one of its major vices or drawbacks or cons that people would say amongst other things right now, but right now more than anything is discoverability and also keeping up with the hosses or undercover hoss, if you will, even. Uh, that's kind of an issue, too, by the way, Twitch. But with that being said, this is, looks like it's Twitch's aim at trying to fix that problem by saying, hey, you can now boost a channel. And what boosting basically is, and they tried this back in December of last year as well with channel points, is you can basically say, hey, I pay this much channel points. I want, like, Twitch will now boost this channel to X number of, you know, recommended pages. And now they're using money, actually, which is part of the controversy, I believe. But I believe one of the screenshots I have saw so far said that for, like, 99 cents, for example, you could boost a channel, and Twitch will recommend that channel to at least 1,000 people. Now, here's the thing about that. On one hand, if you don't even care about discoverability, this might not matter to you at all. But I know, like, most of my friends, for example, they don't use YouTube, they use Twitch. So since it's kind of, like, important for Twitch, or possibly important for Twitch, if anything, I'm making this video to keep them in the loop since a lot of them watch my videos. But also, just because my channel used to be a conversation channel before a lot of the other things it's now divided into. So I want to have a conversation with you watching about how do you feel about the idea of using money to promote a channel that you like to help its discoverability get boosted on a platform like Twitch, where discoverability seems to be a hot topic and talked about not being that good on said platform. Because on one hand, right, discoverability, right? It looks like they're actually trying to do something about this whole discoverability quote-unquote issue and maybe fix it or at least give creators a chance to do something. On the other hand, you know, well, there's two things I've seen come up already. One, this isn't like it's just for small creators. So a big creator X that has like 50,000 viewers that all do this versus someone else that has maybe 50 viewers that does this, there's obviously a difference there. There's going to be a delta, a discrepancy, whatever big word you want to use. There's, there's, there's a gap there, right? And on one hand, maybe a small person doesn't care that big person can have that much of a growth because they already have a massive audience because they just want to grow at all, period. However, a second thing that I've seen come up is just the whole concept of while, you know, a YouTube or a TikTok or whatever, if you game the algorithm right, you might be able to pop off with its discoverability. With Twitch, they're basically saying, hey, pay us to promote you. Give us money, like real money now, not channel points, actual money to promote you. So that's one of the conversation points that I've seen going around as well. And again, does that matter? We've seen something like that before with Facebook. If you don't know on Facebook, when you make a post or an ad or a video or whatever, you can pay and they will like boost that ad or video or whatever you make, art, whatever it is, they'll boost it to at least a minimum percent of people depending on how much you pay and for how long you pay. So like you can pay for like a seven week ad and I'll say, we'll at least boost this to at least like 500 people, 1,000 people, 1,500, 2,000, 5,000 people, depending on how much you pay and for how long you want it to go for. That is a thing that already exists. This isn't like a it's a brand new concept that Twitch invented itself anyways, but still, some people hate that that's a thing on Facebook, so they don't want to see this come to Twitch. And again, if you're someone that doesn't really care about this, do you still care about its possible impact on the platform, or do you just not care at all, which is obviously an option you can have? Comment though with your answer in the comment section down below. For me personally, in the video, if I was tackled with a scenario at the beginning, I don't think this is the way I would go about it. One of the first things I would do is actually just flip the order of how people appear on the left side of Twitch there in terms of like 
followed channels. Have the smallest people appear at the top and the bigger people down at the bottom. Same with the recommended part under that, same with the suggested, etc, etc. Like, no offense, I definitely have some bigger streamers I watch, like, say, Markiplier or something, too. But he doesn't need to be at the top of the thing for you to know that he's live. Like, yo, one way or the other, if you follow him and you're a fan of him, or, like, whatever, insert whatever big streamer you want here, uh, you're gonna know when they're streaming. You kind of keep tabs or something, or they have a schedule, you know when to swing around, like, nags, 4 o'clock, he's never late. You know, every <laughs> but yeah, on a serious note though, like the smaller people that maybe stream every so often, it might be cooler to have them up at the top. And then also with recommended, also recommend me channels, not big channels that are playing a game that I recently watched or something like that. Recommend me actually smaller channels, maybe that are playing the same games that I played, maybe have the same interests that I do, and that's why I might want to check them out or something. That's maybe how I would go about it. This is how Twitch is going about it. Let's have a conversation in the comment section down below. But that's all from this video from me. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know which video will be next. We'll just have to wait and see. So until next time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching.